I gotta say, doing K-pop news in a week that includes April Fool's Day? Nightmare. Nightmare. Especially this year. First of all, I believe at the time of this recording, ATs just got their verified checkmark back from Twitter or X after losing it from all their fun shenanigans. And then you had the unfortunate timing of Karina's breakup news. Five weeks after publicly confirming their relationship back in February and all the chaos that followed, Espa's Karina and actor E. J. Wook have ended their relationship. Jaywook's company stated that he'll be focusing on his work and current filming, but that the two will remain good colleagues and support one another. SM, on the other hand, simply said that the breakup reports are true. What we also now know is true is the report claiming Twice's Chaeyoung and Zion T are dating. According to the outlet, after meeting each other through a mutual acquaintance, which some speculate is Chaeyoung's best friend Somi, who is also Zion T's label mate, anyway, the two started out interacting as senior and junior colleagues, which eventually blossomed into a romantic relationship. Well, the reports have been officially confirmed the two are indeed in a relationship. What was denied to be true was the dating report involving La Seraphim's Kazuha and fellow Japanese hype label mate and Team's K. A few days ago, a Japanese media outlet reported that they followed Kazuha to a restaurant and were surprised to see another idol show up minutes later. The article itself just described him as a handsome idol who's 186 centimeters tall and six years older than her. However, the site's members page revealed it was and teams K. The rumors got to a point where Hype had to come out and say it's not true, explaining they did dine together, but just as friends. This didn't stop people from trying to connect the dots though. Kazuha has a famous and very unique mango yogurt recipe, which K seemingly shared at their first anniversary fan meeting last year. However, others debunked the article's timeline and validity, as it meant the two would have had to have met when Kazuha was said to have been a ballet academy student in the Netherlands. The outlet that started this whole thing is now receiving a lot of backlash as a result. Along with this, Hybe and their subsidiaries were so busy this week, addressing a bunch more different situations. Of course, New Jeans are making their comeback in May, and this week there was controversy surrounding the filming of their new music video. A report came out based on an anonymous user's post, claiming that New Jeans were filming in Taiwan on a public street without permission. Despite them not having the proper permits, people claim that staff members abused their powers on people passing by, yelling at them to not record or take photos, and were even checking people's phones. Adora actually had to come out and deny these claims, explaining they did get the official filming permits from the local authorities. They added that their staff held up signs asking people not to take photos within the restricted area, but some still did, which is why they were asked politely to delete them. Well, this didn't end there, as someone decided to get in touch with government officials, who allegedly said there was no approval for road closure, and that the company in question will be blacklisted. At the same time this is happening, Big Hit Music have been making some weird mistakes lately regarding the recent BTS solo releases and have now actually apologized. Just last week, they promoted an impersonation YouTube account instead of the real one featuring V's new song on some big digital billboards. This week, they messed up J-Hope's Neuron listening party twice. First, they posted the wrong date and time for the station head listening party, and on top of that, they sent out the wrong link when the time came. This time, Big Hit Music did put out a formal apology, explaining the incorrect link was due to a technical error according to Station Head, apologized for posting the wrong schedule, and promised to put forth preventative measures for the future. Last week, we talked about NCT's Lunjin responding to all the comments and criticisms regarding his weight and appearance. This week, in the midst of her emptiness comeback, Boa has now posted responding to comments about her appearance. She basically says when she loses too much weight, people tell her to gain weight. When she puts on a little weight, she gets called a pig. Quote, I don't know what you all look like, but don't live like that, stop wasting your time. She ends it with my favorite line of the whole message, I'm sorry, but I'm Boa. Finally, I do want to update the Hyeri, Han Sohi, and Ryu Jin Yeol situation, just because we did touch on it previously. The big updates you need to know are that Han Sohi put out a lengthy Instagram post denying she was involved in Hyeri's relationship while they were together, and referenced Hyeri's Instagram post asking what's so funny about her ex getting a new girlfriend. She eventually deleted the post, her company did not want to comment on it, and the biggest update is that the couple have now confirmed their breakup two weeks after going public. At this point,
point, we'll only discuss this further if Hyeri herself addresses it again in some way. The last pieces of news before we get to the positive stuff are health updates as usual. NCT's Chenla will be performing on music shows this week seated as he recently sustained a minor ankle injury during one of their schedules. La Seraphim Zinche had to miss emceeing Music Bank due to symptoms of gastritis and had to get treatment. Quite sad news, it was just announced that Shanti was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome and has been getting treatment. This means in order to not cause relapse of her symptoms or strain in her health, she'll be indefinitely postponing her participation in group activities. Thankfully, she's still a member and will still be doing individual activities. And finally, NCT's Jungwoo let fans know that his LASIK eye surgery went well and that his world is much clearer now. On that note, let's get to the positive things in K-pop that we can celebrate this week. Owlet, who you've probably been hearing everywhere, have broken a bunch of records with their debut, receiving the torch from fellow label mates New Jeans for the highest first week sales of any girl group debut album in history. It's even in the fifth spot for all debut albums. They've also already achieved their very first career music show win on the show with Magnetic. Also, congrats to the boys taking home another win on Music Core. I love their song Nectar. After setting some perfect all kill records with their B-side Fate, Idol's viral song has now also earned its first music show win on Inkigayo, and NCT Dream won first on Show Champion, M Countdown, and Music Bank. Along with those, we had another huge week for comebacks and releases. Of course, you see Lucas's solo debut, which has been met with many, many different responses, opinions, criticism that it's even happening, but also some support, so I'm curious about your thoughts. We had Monster X's I Am solo EP, TXT is back, BB Up's debut, Cube's newest boy group nowadays, Tori Kelly featuring Le Seraphim's Chewan, a Bang Yeram and Espo winter collaboration, thank goodness that wasn't an April Fool's joke, the comeback and or kinda debut of Baby Monster as 7, and Ugi's release, which is a song I fell in love with and have been waiting for since their concert last year. You may have noticed boy group Time Is Our Turn or TIOT, consisting of former contestants from Boys Planet who have announced they've now added a new member, Shin Ye Chan, becoming a five member group group. We also just mentioned Cube's future focus with boy group nowadays, and after reaching an agreement with B2B regarding the utilization of their trademarks outside of Cube, Highlight have announced they finally reclaim trademark rights for Beast whenever they want to use it. Definitely add to the pink comment anything I didn't get to mention from this crazy week in K-pop. I'll see you next Friday, and I hope you have or find someone that loves you this much. I just love your song. Oh, I love your album. Oh! I love your song. I love your I album. Love your I just songs. love you. No, I love I your love songs. your performance. No, I, I just love, love your, your facial expression.